The last part of the lecture is dedicated to ongoing research activities at the Department of Design Engineering. So topology optimization is a very active topic in mechanical engineering and industrial design. And in our department, we have been focusing on topology optimization for additive manufacturing. I would like to briefly go through some of the projects. Uh, this is a very interesting project. Uh, in most 3D printing, the process is uh, the layer layer planner. But now with robotic fabrication, uh, by robotics, you could rotate the nozzle, you could reorient it, and it allows us to fabricate along curved layers. So we explore how we could make use of this curved layer to reduce the distortion in metal additive manufacturing. This animation showing on the left-hand side, we are using planar layers, and because of the residual stresses during the fabrication process, and the distortion is very big, but if we make use of curved layers, these curved layers, they are optimized, and by optimization, we could reduce the distortion to an almost invisible extent. Here in this project, if you look at these uh, robots, they are fabricating a bridge. Normally, when we design structures, we consider the structure as an entire part. If we consider this robotic fabrication, which requires the bridge, even when it is unfinished, it should be able to support the weight of the robotic platform. So it means not only the final shape is important, but also the intermediate shape is important for the mechanical perspective. And inspired by this, we concurrently optimize the structure and the fabrication sequence. We call this space-time topology optimization, and it is shown on this animation. So this structure, it is optimized to support the pedestrian nodes, but also the robotic loads during the fabrication process. Uh, one of the applications of topology optimization is uh, the design of personalized implants. So here we, uh, this is collaboration with the biomechanical engineering department. Uh, so we have implant which is solid in the middle, uh, which is uh, very sparse on the boundary and the, this sparse is important to stimulate the bone in growth. But in between the porous boundary and the solid interior, there's a requirement to create a gradation of microstructures. So in this project, we uh, use topology optimization to compute microstructures such that they are not only optimized for mechanical performance, but also they are collectible in a sense if you place them together, they could very well collect it. This is uh, in contrast to previous research on uh, the design of microstructures. The microstructures, they are optimized independently. So even though each microstructure is optimized, if you put them together, they don't uh, collect very well. And then the innovative part of uh, the project of Eric Gardner is to optimize these microstru microstructures at the same time so this collectivity is ensured. And uh, on the right hand side is a uh, implant fabricated with powder. Uh, this is also a very latest research. Uh, we optimize uh, lattice structures, lattice structures or beam-like lattice structures, they are lightweight. I remember the bone-like microstructures, we really need a very high resolution so we could capture the geometric detail. It is very time consuming. So in this project, we did uh, a clever way to reduce the computational cost. So on the left-hand side, it specifies the design domain and the load case. And in the second image, we optimize the orientation of this lattice structure. So we know, we determine at which location we should have lattice and along which orientation. So from this orientation and from this distribution, we compile a continuous structure 
which is the third one, rendering, and the fourth one is fabricated one uh, with uh, Form 2 printer. So we, with this computationally efficient technique, we can compile very detailed geometric structures. For instance, this bridge, it consists of a few hundred thousand beams with the bone in spite density based approach it it's not possible the computation is just too intensive but with this reduced uh, technique it is computed within a few minutes to summarize the lectures about topology optimization uh, we are most focusing on two aspects, the basic of topology optimization and the topology optimization for additive manufacturing. So about the basics, uh, topology optimization optimizes the material distribution and it is an iterative process. And topology optimization for additive manufacturing, we are focusing on how to steer the optimized structure for manufacturability, such that no post-processing is required. This concerns the overhang, this concerns the design of infill structures. To summarize, it is my opinion topology optimization and additive manufacturing, they are a very good couple. I call a marriage of topology optimization and additive manufacturing. On the left hand side, topology optimization is able to compute lightweight structures. These structures they have freeform appearance, they could be customized. It produces mechanically optimized geometry. This geometry, however, is very complex. It is not easy to be fabricated with molding or machining, but with additive manufacturing, since geometric complexity is almost free, even though not completely free, but it has large flexibility to fabricate complex geometry. So they complement each other, topology optimization, the best design, complex geometry, additive manufacturing, allows to fabricate them. And this opportunity is very well organized, recognized by academia and industry. So if you Google topology optimization and additive manufacturing, you will find a lot of uh, components designed and 3D fabricated. A few remarks. Uh, there are many uh, tools available for doing topology optimization. And this top up, up 2D and 3D version, they are uh, excellent tools to get to low topology optimization and there are also commercial software like Tosca from Dassault System, Solid Thinking from Artair, also SolidWorks and Siemens NX also have incorporated topology optimization into the packages so you could play with them and we have also developed our own uh, code for high resolution optimization on GPU, if you would like to have a try, just send me an email or you could also download it from my web page. We have multiple uh, projects going on on topology optimization. Some of them are very theoretical and some of them are application oriented. For instance, uh, how can we make use of topology optimization to design secular products? And also we are looking into the aesthetic principles of topology optimization. We often find it beautiful, but we want to explain uh, why it is perceived as beautiful and how this geometric feature, the uh, difference in geometric feature from conventional design influences our appreciation of the geometry. If you are interested in uh, this kind of topics, uh, we have research assistant positions and also uh, have graduation projects available. The assignment, uh, you have already received the assignment. Some of you have already uh, went quite far. Um, if you have questions, leave a note in the discussion board and I will try to answer as soon as possible. All right, uh, this is the end of the lecture about topology optimization. Thank you for your attention and uh, if you have any question, feel free to post it in the discussion board.